Stefan. Did I say you could move? You know the rules. Answer my questions honestly. No disobedience. I thought you'd do anything to save Elena. Even if it meant taking the cure yourself so you could grow old and die with her. I thought Elena was your epic love, Stefan. She slept with Damon. Innocent Elena could be so heartless towards Stefan. How could she hurt you like that? Let's spice things up a bit. Elena, truth or dare? I dare you to tell Stefan the truth. He makes you. Lately, I feel like I'm a project, like I'm a problem that needs to be fixed. I think I make him sad. And I can't be with someone like that because when he looks at me, all he sees is a broken toy. Do you still love Stefan? Yes. Are you still in love with Stefan? No. Did that hurt? Yes. Whoever finds it first can... Go! That door's not gonna hold! Stefan. No. Stefan, we have to talk about this, please. Talk about what, huh? How many more ways are there for you to rip my heart out? I'm sorry. You sorry that it happened? Or you sorry that I found out? I'm sorry about all of it. I'm really sorry, Stefan. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't want that. Just leave her out of this. You're still protecting her. Must I rip your bleeding heart from your chest and show you the scar tissue that is Elena Gilbert? I could compel him. Erase every memory he has of you. Every day you spent together, every kiss, every lie, every ounce of pain. I could take away every bit of love he has for you. Give you both a clean slate. Just say the word, and I'll all that misery you've caused him disappear. Do it. Erase it all, then remember it. Stefan, no. I said do it. Fuse to make you forget her. What did you do to Stefan? Rescued him from his old, dull life, but it keeps calling. Stefan's not in the mood to talk right now. Then he can listen. I know you might not care about me right now, Stefan, but if you still care about the cure, maybe you can come help. Okay. You're welcome. Well, you can't. You won't have a choice. You're sired. At all? Stefan, what are you doing with Rebecca? She tried to kill me. Are you trying to punish me? I don't know how many times I can apologize. I never asked you to. You can do whatever you want, Elena. I really don't care. You're hurt. You're hurt, and you're acting out. Stefan, this isn't you. Sure it is. 
You've just never seen me like this. You don't know what I look like when I'm not in love with you. as much got the silas headstone we're just waiting for and we'll have everything we need yeah i didn't uh i didn't dagger her what why not i didn't need to she's on our side on our side D did you really just say that yeah she handed over the headstone i mean she wants to find this cure more than any of us why would you possibly think that you could trust her let me guess, she pledged her allegiance to you while you were naked in the sack. Up it, both of you. You know, why don't you tell her to calm down, Damon? You've managed to use that sire mountain pretty well so far, haven't you? No, you're not really helping. Giving a land of the evil eye, it's not really helping. You to put a dagger in my back. Jeremy! Jeremy! Why don't you yell louder? Maybe we haven't drawn enough attention to ourselves already. Helping. I'm stronger than you. I'm faster than you. Not disagreeing on the easy part. All right, we get it. You two hate each other. Can we just keep going, please? You didn't achieve evil status until you killed. Where is everyone? What are you talking about? Well... Let her go. She didn't take it. <sighs> you think I would do that? Every single moment of my last 146 years has been ruled by the pain of being a vampire. And this cure ends that. It ends the guilt and it ends the suffering. Oh, you really think I would jeopardize that? And once again, everyone's life is in danger looking for this cure because poor Elena can't deal with being a vampire. No, everyone's here because they want to be. Not just for you, but for themselves too. Seven, why didn't you tell me that you wanted the cure for yourself? I mean, why wouldn't I want to take it? I've seen every side of vampirism there is. The power, the misery, the guilt. In the long run, even the good parts kind of suck, too. Yeah, I mean, I know why you would want to take it, but what I'm saying is... Why didn't you tell me? Because it had nothing to do with you. I mean, you know how much I wanted a human life with you. Being a human myself, being normal. That's something I've wanted since long before I met you. I'm glad you told me now. Oh, it's a deeply buried personal secret between friends, right? Between friends? I like that. <laughs> Just leave the map behind. In case you fall, you don't want anything to happen to the phone. Because we don't have time for this. Elena, you go first. We'll be right behind you. Even if I felt pity for you, if I wanted to ease your pain so I gave you the cure to take for yourself, You'd give it to Elena, wouldn't you? There's only one cure. I can't, I can't take it. I mean, just as much as I do. It's over. I'm sorry. Don't be. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. How so? Things change the minute that I went off that bridge, Stefan. Even if I could be human again, I wouldn't be the person that I was. So it's about time that I accept the person that I am now and figure out a way to start living the rest of my life. Rest of your life? I guess we'll have to deal with that when I get home. Oh my god. Home. Pity party over. We have to go. You need to go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Go. Yeah. <laughs>
Can I get you anything? No, I'm... I'm fine. I'm just gonna sit here and... Let me know if you hear anything. Deep down, I think she has to. But we're talking about Elena here. She feels grief more powerfully than anyone else. I think her denial is the one thing protecting her from letting it all in. I know, but I don't want to be the one to break her out of it, you know? I'm not in denial. I'm not in denial. Okay, stop. all about the science. Where is your science? We use vampire blood to say no science here. It's this magic. We need magic. We have to find. Just get me, Bonnie. Elena. Matt, it's fine. It's okay. We told Matt to take her home. He thought it'd be best. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Elena. Elena. You need help. What are you doing? We need a cover story, right? You think I didn't burn the house down with him inside of it? Elena, stop it! Why? Because you want me to not be in denial? You want me to face the truth? This is the truth, Stefan. I don't want to live here anymore. Here to drink it. I mean, unless you guys are willing to bring back every supernatural creature on the other side to get... No, 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 Elena, stop. There's nothing here for me anymore, Stefan. How am I gonna... I can't even... There's nothing left... I can't, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you burn down the house, it'll be gone. What if one day, when this is all over, you want to come home again? I won't. seen before <clears throat> everything all right yeah as soon as the queen backs off everything like... hey we need to talk so talk you can help me stretch <sighs> okay did you feed on that chair later maybe i see you wouldn't happen to know anything about the hospital's missing blood supply would you Trust me, I'm sick of blood bags. I prefer something a little warmer. Look, Elena, I know what you're going through. I was having the time of my life when I first turned two. I didn't start ripping people's heads off until 1912. The next thing I know, I was killing an entire village. Am I supposed to be scared of becoming you? Yeah, you are. Because I know how deep down you can fall, and I know how difficult it is to climb back out. Come on, you're better than this. I don't know. Maybe this is the better version of me. Nice move. What do you do for an encore? Pretty sure it doesn't involve another condescending lecture. No, I was impressed. Played us all really well. It wasn't that hard. You want me to be okay so badly that you hear whatever I want you to. Right. Well, you know, the problem with the gymnasium is to be a little more private for some real fun. Oh, yeah? Where? Well, I know this little dive bar off the beaten path. Come on. You're bluffing. You're forgetting that I had my switch flipped in this town, too. I know where to take someone to have a good time. <laughs> First, a little bit of ravine just to take the edge off. What'd you do to me? Brought you home before you can cause any more trouble. So you're grounding me? No, because you fed on someone. In public. So? I was hungry. You really gonna keep stripping in front of me? It's real mature. I'm done cheering, so I'm gonna change. Sure, when in doubt, uh, manipulate people with sex. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I see you standing there and you look good. I remember our sex and it was good sex. I just don't feel anything about it anymore. But you clearly do. 
Why do you care what I do and who I kill? Because it's my fault and you're like this. I brought this into your life. I'm not gonna live with the people that you kill or what that'll do to you. Who are you texting? Look at you. Your whole world revolves around me. Maybe you're the one that needs to turn it all off. What is that? You were trying to keep me from joining the party, so I brought the party here. Who finally joined the party? Yeah, why are you uh, jealous or something? No, that would imply emotions. We've already established those are useless. No, you guys look good together. Take them out for a spin. I can use it. <clears throat> Let me guess, he's worried. Listen, I was in the exact same situation that you're in right now. My emotions were off, I wasn't me. And you refuse to accept that. You didn't give up on me. You didn't stop until you pulled me back. Like I said, consequences. That's one bar trying to fix me. There'll be a second, a twentieth, and a hundredth. It's your choice. I don't need a babysitter. Really? Because the last time I saw you, you snapped a waitress's spine. Got you to stop your search for the cure, didn't it? I stole it. Where's the disco ball? Caroline's been working on this for a while. It's a uh, photo year. Isn't that photo from uh, first day of freshman year? Off at school. I'm gonna get a seizure if I keep staring at these screens. Let go of me or I will bite you. Oh, come on. I'm the one that hates to dance. Remember? Yeah, now I finally see why. Mm. And what happens to be the most sentimental night in high school? You think this is my cry for help? I'd be happy to show you what a real cry for help sounds like. So, this. Us. You feel nothing? I feel nothing. I don't believe you. I don't care. So, you don't remember what I used to feel like when we would dance? When my hand would touch your waist? No. Mm. How about this? When our fingers would touch? broken one, but I'm the only one who needed to save. And... I can see... Hey, okay. <gasps> she might not feel much, but she's gonna feel that in the morning. <laughs> so what's the plan? When Bonnie was wailing on her tonight? I can see it in her eyes. Yeah. He took my ring. Am I supposed to be scared? You will be. And when you are, focus on that fear. It's the key to getting your humanity back. You're not going to burn me. I figured that'd be the first emotion that came out. Look at me. We don't want to do this, okay? You can stop this right now. It's your choice. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. You being the one to pull back the curtain. I bet part of you enjoys it. Since, you know, I dumped you and all. Let me guess. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. 
Look, I know what you're going through. After all you've done, you're afraid to face the guilt you'll feel if you turn your emotions back on. The only way we can help you is to make the alternative hurt even worse. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe Stefan and I will give it another go. You wouldn't do anything to actually hurt me. You just prove that. Hey, hey. You cut off. Let go of me. Stop it. Enough. For that? Maybe not. Seriously, you think so help me God. Amen. Don't. I know this stage, okay? The emotions are overwhelming you. You just have to focus on one thing, okay? No, I can't, I can't. Just find that one thing inside of you that makes you strong. <sighs> it's in there. Just latch onto it. Channel everything you're feeling into that one emotion. Find the thing inside of you that makes you want to live, Elena. Let it in. Let it in. It's good. That's it. That's it. Just breathe it in. So Blow everything loud. else out. That's good. That's good. Hey. Elena's emotions are back. She finally knows exactly how she feels. She's the love of my life. I'd go back to her in a heartbeat. But if that's not how she feels, and maybe that's exactly what I need to hear to get my ass out the door. And that's all you need to know right now. Okay, fine. It's settled. We're actually. So let's get started. Yes, I'm gone. Just feed him the cure. Stefan, can I, um. Can I have a moment? Sure. So, uh. What's up? Honestly, Stefan, I just wanted to thank you. For sticking by me when I was at my worst. For believing that I was still in there. Even after everything I put you through, you you never gave up on me. Uh, I kind of owed you one. Here. It's yours. I want you to have it. No, Elena, I'm not... Stefan, the only person worse at being a vampire than me is you. Human blood is your downfall. You got the raw end of the vampire deal. You taught us. You deserve whatever you want out of life. You deserve this. Listen, well, so I'm glad you're okay with who you are now. But every single thing I did to get this, I did for you. So that the choice of whether you wanted to be a vampire or not would always be yours. And? That did nothing for me. How's it for you? <laughs> okay, again. Good. Now. Focus on letting it go. Or we could skip the sublimating part and you can tell me where she is. I did. I wouldn't tell you. Stefan, you're the one who told me to channel all of my emotions into one single feeling. I realized that. I just figured it would be love or hope or compassion. Not unwavering hatred for a ruthless vampire that's 500 years older than you. Um. Alright, give me 50 pulse. You wanted to kill Klaus when you got your emotions back. I know, and I couldn't. You don't think I... You really want to. Maybe you're right. Maybe. I... Nah. It's simple. I'm gonna go shower. I think we just split you and Caroline. Look inside. All right, let me know if you find anything. <laughs> Stefan! Get the hell out of here before I kill you myself. Really? <sighs> Her body would be dead, too. How do you know that? Because I saw her, Elena. You almost killed your best friend. 
I don't believe you. Really? You never wanted me to kill Catherine. Why are you protecting her, Stefan? Listen to yourself. Your rage is making you crazy. Do you still have feelings for her? This isn't even about Catherine and all that pain away. It won't. Oh, but beating up cinder blocks will? No, it's a distraction. Just like killing Catherine, just like turning your emotions off. The truth is, there are no shortcuts. You are a vampire, Elena. Loss is part of the deal. I've been alive for 163 years. I have lost more loved ones than I can count, and it hurts me every single time. So there's no hope? You're saying I'm hopeless? No. I'm saying you have to face your grief. But you don't have to do it alone. I can help you. Oh, of course you can. God, Stefan, always trying to help, and your concern for me is just You're like... transferring your rage onto me. That's good. I don't need to transfer anything. I can hate two people just fine. Hey. <sighs> just like the cinder block. Nothing. <laughs> Stefan, wait. Welcome back.